Hello and welcome to another Beardy Cook how-to video. Now I'm not doing a give or take box challenge today. Um, Amy up at PCAV has asked me to do a recipe for you guys. So I'm going to do a what I call a one pot wonder. Everything goes in one pot, it all gets cooked, I let the oven do the work, hardly any prep. So today I'm going to be doing a meatloaf cooked in a tomato sauce. So on with the show. Right so these are the ingredients I'm going to be using. I've got some beef mince, uh, I've got a pepper, a couple of slices of bacon, some paprika, chopped tomatoes, kidney beans, chilies, and some onion and some garlic. Now I haven't actually been shopping so I'm going to be using onion granules and garlic granules but normally I'd use a chopped onion and obviously a smashed bit of garlic. Um, that's pretty much it. What I'm going to do is make the meatloaf using a bit of chopped up bacon, the beef mince and breadcrumbs and an egg to bind it all. Make that into a, a kind of rugby ball shape stick it in a pan or a dish ready to go in the oven and then we're going to make a sauce around it it's all going to cook in the same uh same dish same time same oven so on with the show all right so what i've got here is the mince in the bowl uh what i've done is i've seasoned it with a good load of pepper easy on the salt because i'm adding bacon and i put the breadcrumbs in as well uh, the onion and garlic are in so what i'm going to do now is just chop up the bacon quickly so i'm using two slices Doesn't have to be tiny little bits, but give it a good hack up. Leave all the fat on. That's going to make the uh, the meatloaf stay moist. And fat is flavour. Just run the knife quickly through this. Now, you can flavour this any way you like. Uh, a bit of mustard stirred into it, a bit of Worcestershire sauce stirred into it. All great additions. Just have a look at what you've got in your cupboard and think what would work with it. Obviously it's a beefy dish, so it can take some strong flavours. Even a drop or two of red wine would work in there. So what I do now is just mix everything through, make sure it's evenly distributed. Pull the bacon apart, get it into separate bits. The last thing you want is a big bacony lump in the middle. Well, the last thing you want is actually to miss the big bacony lump. Start bringing that together and what I'll do is I'll just crack an egg in there just to help bind it. If you find it's not wet enough you can always add something like a bit of ketchup. There we go. The best thing to do is get your hands in. Have a good feel. A load of moisture that's going to come together beautifully. So, what I'm going to do is just start bringing that together in a big ball. You're making a kind of loaf shape with it. You want it to be fairly even across so it all cooks evenly, but it don't have to be pretty. I've been served in a restaurant. So, what I've got here is the dish that I'm cooking it in. So, I can start making it into the shape it needs to be in there. Try to make sure it's all even so it all cooks evenly. So, there we go. That's the loaf ready to go. That would be pretty good, even on its own. But what we're going to do now is make a sauce around it. So, I shall clear the decks and come back. Alright, so that's the decks cleaned, wash my hands. So, on with the sauce. So what I'm going to do is just take this pepper, take its head off, rip its guts out, slice it down the middle. You don't want huge chunks but it doesn't have to be tiny little dice always pay attention to where your hands are let's push that one side and then go through this one so just 
it's nice and quick, nothing fancy, and then just drop the bits on either side. And now you're going to do the same with one of the chilies. I'm using these quite hot Thai ones, but if you don't like it too hot, jalapeno would do. If you don't like it hot at all, don't bother putting it in. And this wants to be slightly finer. And that wants to be moved away from there so it doesn't clink when I'm cutting. Yeah. Just lift that up, blade of the knife, and then just drop bits on either side, and that will scoot around when the tomatoes go in. So next, just taking a tin of kidney beans. These are some of the things that you can find in the give or take boxes if you're using those. Drain the liquid off. Again, it doesn't have to be too fine. And then up on that side, up on that side, probably have some left over. Do something else with those. Uh, tomatoes, just one tin, crushed tomatoes. Open, and that's going to go that side. That side, round the front, round the back. Give it a, a sugar and a quick stir up. Now you can put some onion and some garlic in the sauce, that won't hurt it at all. And then you just need to flavour it with the paprika. And this is smoked paprika. I get it from Provender Brown and it's gorgeous. So, a teaspoon, just get it around. Quickly stirred in. Now, it doesn't have to be kidney beans, you can use anything you like. You can use chickpeas, you can use bolotti beans. To be fair, you could use a tin of baked beans. At the end of the day, as I always say, it's your dish. Cook it how you like it. So there we go, that's pretty much ready to go into the oven. So that's going to go into a 180 oven um, for about 30-35 minutes. You'll know it's cooked, the top will go lovely and golden brown. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to serve this with mash. Um, you could do it with some kale, broccoli, cauliflower, any green veg, a bit of cabbage. Would be good, but I haven't got any, so it's just going to be mash. So I'll post a photo of it on the Beardy Cook page when it's finished. But that's the end of the video. Thanks all for watching. Don't forget the Beardy Cook is on Facebook. Loads and loads of recipes on there for you to have a go at. So this is the meatloaf in a pot for Pecav. Thanks for watching.